new McLaren 720s, 711 BHP, 770NM, and a bold new look. All new McLaren 720s takes Geneva 2017 by storm, replaces the 650s and will arrive in May from 208,600 pounds. McLaren's latest Ferrari and Porsche Bader, the 720s, is finally here. Out goes the 650s and all of its associated variants and in comes a new supercar that has the widest breadth of road and track capability of any McLaren so far, according to Hayden Baker, director of the McLaren Super Series. At the heart of the new 720s is a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 producing 711bhp and 770nm of torque. On paper, it outpaces the Ferrari 488 GTB, with a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 2.9 seconds, 0.1 seconds ahead of the Ferrari, and a top speed of 212 miles per hour, 7 miles per hour higher than its rival. Not that many supercar owners will care, but the 720s also claims up to 24.6 mpg and CO2 emissions of 249 g slash km, too, that means it's more efficient than its arch rival at Maranello. The 720s is built around a lightweight carbon fiber monocage 2 structure that is now extended into the roof with thin pillars, providing excellent all-round visibility and a wide housing for the dihedral doors. These open wider than before for easier access. The doors themselves play a big role in the look of the new car, with their double skins channeling air into the radiators for the mid-mounted engine rather than having traditional air intakes. Rob Melville, McLaren's chief designer, describes this as functional layering with the aluminium bodywork shrink wrap to give the car a taut, purposeful, but still striking look. These aerodynamic tricks continue at the front, with an eye socket light design that allows airflow around the LED lights for more cooling, while at the back, the pop-up air brake produces 30% or more downforce than the 650 SS. The chassis produces 6% more mechanical grip through the tires than in the 650s, with proactive chassis control 2 providing comfort, sport, or track modes, while variable drift control lets drivers manage rear tire slip via a slider on the infotainment screen. Inside, the cabin is a blend of luxury and tech, with a showpiece folding driver display that can be used in upright mode with a TFT display screen, or slim mode showing just essential driving info. A second, 8-inch screen controls the navigation, climate control, and infotainment, which includes a Bowers and Wilkins audio system. Buyers can choose from standard, performance, and luxury trims, with prices starting from £208,600, just over 5% more than the 650s. Deliveries start in May.